Workflow logic allows you to determine how an app will move intelligently between different users and groups in your organization. Workflow logic uses a combination of defined stages, roles, conditions, notifications and reminders. With an app loaded in the Perfect Apps Designer, click the Workflow button on the toolbar to switch into Workflow mode. The toolbox at the top now displays workflow creation objects, which only include stage and comment. The workflow canvas is in the middle, and the workflow properties are shown in the right panel. Workflow rules are added in steps, and in this tutorial we will look at the first step, which is adding the workflow stage objects onto the canvas. Before you start, you need to understand your workflow requirements, which will include the different steps in the process. All new requests will go to the manager for approval in this example. Any IT specific requests approved by the manager will then go to the IT manager for approval. All submissions will either end up being approved or rejected. In all, there will be five different stages in this example process. We can add an object to the canvas for each stage. You will hopefully have noticed two things. The first stage added to the drawing area is a different colour, and that's because it's the default stage or starting point in the process. You will see the significance of this in a later tutorial video. You will also notice that the stage names are generated based on the order added to the canvas, but we recommend that you change the stage names to reflect what is happening at that stage. Once named, you will need to link the stages together to define the potential pathways that individual instances might follow. Use the yellow join points to make these links, noting that there are three join points on each edge of the stage object. In this example, you can now see that the approved and rejected stages are the final points in the process, or closed stages. Use the checkbox in the stage properties to mark them as closed. That's a valuable start to the workflow diagram. We have only specified the different stages in the process and the potential paths between those stages. There is still more to do, covered in the following tutorial videos.